Before we go into the video, I would like to talk about Team C's. Wait, why do I sound like Mr. Beast? We humans have been a dominating species on the planet since the evolution of early man. We are the part of nature. So it's our responsibility to conserve the nature and clean it. Many animals are being hurt because of the trash in the oceans. Today, Team C's in collaboration with Ocean Cleanup and Ocean Conservancy are trying to clean 30 million pounds of trash from the ocean. Wondering how to join them? Just log on to teamseas.org and donate one dollar. For each dollar, one pound of trash will be collected from the sea. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description and donate a dollar because I don't see why not to. How's it going everyone? My name is Swan and today we're gonna deal with the virus pop-up scammer. Meet the new scammer, I'm not sure of his name but yeah, say hello. He uses two phone numbers, one to receive phone calls and the other one, we will talk about that later in the video. So here is a victim calling him. So are you getting my point? He pretends to be Alex Gorev, Microsoft employee and shows the profile to the victim to gain, gain the trust. So basically sir, what Microsoft has done, that we are getting a lot of complaints from the Microsoft uh, from that customers are being hacked. So we have provided a Microsoft secure line. So basically on the back side of your debit card and credit card, there's a toll free number sir. After the diagnosis of fake errors, he pretends that the victim is hacked and says that they are getting a lot of complaints from Microsoft users that so, they are uh, being first hacked. Of all, first of all, listen to me what I can do for you. You don't have to provide me any kinds of card details or debit card details as this is a recorded line and we can lose our job. Okay. Right now, what I, what you can do that basically, what Microsoft has done that Microsoft will provide you a secure line. Microsoft will provide you the secure line to your banks that you can verify with them. You're going to check the last 24 hours transaction and put your car on a high security alert. That and you can tell to your bank that you are calling from the Microsoft line and you can provide me my extension number and my Microsoft ID too as you are being compromised right now. Check them, put your card on a high security alert and once you complete and once I will transfer your call to your bank, I will get automatically get disconnected from the line and you can have a word in a private with your bank. Put your card on a high high security alert for the next 48 hours <laughs> sir I already write it down on your notepad and basically sir you can provide me the toll free number on the back side so we can transfer your call and once I will transfer your call I will automatically get disconnected and you will have a word in with your bank in a private okay and once you complete with your bank that everything is good to go, put your card on a high security alert, tell to your bank that... Tell he desperately bank, tries to be the bank or the credit card company the of the victim. Line. Since the victim said that the banks are nearby to his home, now the scammer tries to be the credit card company. Okay, that's superb. So if your banks are near to your house, that's great. All of your banks are near to your house. And basically, all uh, so which bank do you associate it with? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, and uh, your is bank is near to your home? Okay, that's superb. You can uh, and uh, your credit card companies are near to your home. So you can verify that. You can put your car on a high security alert. As basically, you are being hacked. Okay, so basically, uh, which card do you want to put a high security on it? Okay, you want to put both of the cards on a high security alert? 
Yes, well, that's perfect. You have, yeah. Sir, I need the credit card toll free number. On the back side of a credit card, there's a toll free number. Okay. After successfully getting the victim's bank phone number, now it's his turn to use the second phone by spoofing the bank phone number and call the victim, pretending to be the bank. That's Morgan Stanley. Okay. Please be online with me. I'm just transferring your call to your bank. I'm just mailing to them. Okay. Please be online for next two, three minutes. And in the meantime, I'm working on your machine. You don't have to worry about that. Okay. Okay. So right now, only uh, I'm just mailed to you. Uh, basically, the Morgan Stanley. They will connect you in the shortly with me. Okay. I will just transfer your call. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please be online with me. Fortunately, the victim's phone got disconnected from the scammer's call and I was able to get in touch with the victim so that I can actually tell him what's going on. Now here, this person ends up giving the gift card numbers and access codes to the scammer and then he tries to block the card and then get the money out of the card. Fortunately, he failed to do so. Okay, give me two minutes. I'll ask the access of your computer from Microsoft. Uh, can you please provide me the details for the Microsoft person you were talking to? Do you have any extension number that I can refer to? Because, you know, there would be a lot of Alex in Microsoft. So, uh, do you have any? Yeah. 429 okay that would be enough no extension would be enough ma'am I have the number for Microsoft give me a couple of minutes here okay, sir. one of the members or agents in the chat said that the card is already blocked so he failed to get the money and then he asked for the victim to scan the cards and put it on the computer Okay, ma'am. I'm, I they just shared the access of your device. Now, what you want uh, want you to do is just uh, put your cards upside down in the printer so I can scan them. Okay, I did. Just a second. Since it was a Target gift card, I asked my friend CJ to contact the person and asked the person to contact Target so that she can get the money back and block the cards. Unfortunately, I couldn't get any of the recordings, but Target was really helpful to block the card and provide the complete refund to the person. All she had to do was to explain what exactly happened. So that's it for the video everyone, hope you liked this video. Don't forget to support teamseas.org, link in the description. And as always, stay awesome bros. Bye.